Pink warned you in the 90s. And the truth is, you might not have been very mindful back then. They might have been just lyrics that you were humming along to or singing along to without really letting those lyrics sink in and saturate. So if you have a business, stick around because I'm going to share in this video what those lyrics mean for you. Now, if we get started, Pink says, and I am no, I'm tone deaf. <laughs> L.A. told me you'll be a pop star. All you have to do is change everything you are, right? I'm tired of being compared to damn Britney Spears. She's so pretty. That just ain't me. I think pink set the precedence for us of being truly, truly authentic, like unapologetically being okay with who we are and not changing ourselves because of other people's opinions and expectations. Hey, my name is Kim Ward from successwithkimward.com. And that's what I teach as like an authenticity success coach. Great. I can teach you the marketing. I'm known as the Pinterest queen. I am a digital marketing strategist, but guess what? None of that is going to do you any good until you believe in yourself, until you have enough confidence to either write that blog post, write that email, you know, do that video, get yourself booked on podcast, all of those things. The marketing, it doesn't mean anything until you're ready to come out and show the world who you are. How do you do that? I'm going to give you three really cool exercises that you can do anytime to really kind of step in and go, I got this. Okay. Number one, that's what I have a lot of my clients do at the beginning. Like when we first start working together, get a pen. This is super, super powerful. Number one is to make a timeline of your life. I want you to go back as far as you can remember your earliest memories. Now, I want you to write with pen and paper. Why? First and foremost, when you write with pen and paper or some kind of, you know, for me, it's my pink pen, no pun intended. <laughs> your brain activates more than six places. When you type or you text, your brain is only activating two places. So where do you think you have the best chance of, you know, really getting it in there? Writing, of course. So I want you to make a timeline of your life with the earliest, earliest memories you can think of. And I want you to really remember and reconnect with all of the incredible, amazing things that you have accomplished. Yeah, it's not always at the forefront because we're really hard on ourselves. I know that you're rough on yourself. And when you live in that mental quicksand, it's easy to be pulled down and to stay there. That's not very uplifting, inspirational, empowering, motivating. Of course not. When you see what a badass you are, what you've already overcome, what you've already accomplished, you're going to remember, I've gotten through that. I've triumphed that. I've done things I never thought were possible and I can do it freaking again. Okay, so make that timeline and be proud. Be proud of everything that you've written down on that timeline. Number two, we've heard this a lot. And sometimes it's one of those things where we kind of roll our eyes and we're like, eh, okay, great. A gratitude journal. I know you've heard it, but you're tired of it. I actually have a seven day journal for only $7. If you want to grab that, it's, it's really great to get those wheels churning and to remind yourself, well, first we learn in reflection, right? So journaling is so, so important because it allows us that time to reflect. But number two, I just shared with you that writing with a pen or, you know, instrument and paper is one of the most powerful things you can do for yourself. So when you journal, you're reminding yourself again of it's not just the negativity. If there are challenges, 
and adversity, which I wholeheartedly expect, life isn't just perfect. Life isn't just a success story. We have to go through it to get to it. And here we are. So get that journal. You can download my journal for seven bucks. You can open up a notebook that you get from the dollar store and start that gratitude journal or some time for you to reflect. And third, and certainly not least, is to find a support system. That is so important because, you know, when we are alone in our stuff, we're just going to keep pulling ourselves further and further down that hole. It's really hard to climb out of that. That's why we hire coaches. Coaches and mentors are fantastic at seeing and finding our blind spots and helping us pivot and either avoid a pitfall or look back at those pieces of challenge or adversity in our lives and find one of two things. Every time you've had something go wrong, a challenge or adversity, I guarantee you, guarantee you, there was either a blessing in there. Once you get through it and you reflect, you will find either that blessing or there was a very, very important lesson for you. Mm. It's not fun while we're going through it, but we have to, right? This logo behind me represents a beautiful nonprofit. Katie's mission is a mental health nonprofit. We offer wraparound services for people who are going through hard times. And we also have financial help for when a suicide loss occurs. How did I get there? Why did I like create this nonprofit? I'm a suicide attempt survivor. I lost my only sister and my only mom, both to suicide. When you go through stuff, we have to be willing to, you know, do things like make a timeline, create and live by your journal and find a support system so that you can see the blessing or the lesson in there because you are too damn needed to shrink. Okay. So I want to, I want to just put this out here. If you're like, man, those are great exercises. Let me get to it. Well, I have a free download for you. It is called the Daily Authenticity Checklist. And what this is going to do is kind of give you those moments of reflection. So like I said, whether you download my $7 journal or you've got pen and paper and you're doing it on your own, this checklist allows you to kind of check in with those key elements, those important components that you might be missing on your own. So use this checklist as the best accountability partner for you so if you feel yourself pulling out of alignment, we pull you back in. If your car is out of alignment and it's pulling too far to the right or too far to the left, you bring it to the garage or the mechanic for an alignment. This authenticity checklist is going to be that alignment for you. So tap that link in the description of this video, download my daily authenticity checklist for free and keep in touch. Let me know what this does for you. Let me know that this was the thing to help you get back into alignment. And as always, shine bright because you're needed, you're unique, and you are the perfect, perfect person and exactly who you're supposed to be. I will see you around the hallways in the next video in the daily authenticity checklist. Bye for now.